Here's a little demonstration of what happens when a hard drive tries to operate when there are smudges, scratches, etc. on the platter. They can be caused by anything over time. If you try to open it up, you will contaminate it with dust. Uh, if you accidentally touch the platter, you'll get fingerprint residue on it. Uh, if anything bumps up or scratches against it, including when, um, for instance, if a hard drive gets dropped, a uh, head crash can actually cause scratches to a platter. So uh, I've stuck a couple of things on here, maybe a little hard to see in the shot there. You can probably at least see some of the smudges. But this is where it gets interesting. Power to it. You can see the head's trying to reconcile this. Not doing a great job. It's kind of getting stuck on those smudges, which means that uh, fingerprint residue is probably obscuring the head right now, so it can't read anything effectively. It's trying, but not getting anywhere. What I'm hoping it'll do is find the scratch. But it has to get a little closer to the center of the platter before that'll happen. See, right now it's kind of stuck. It's, it's trying. It hasn't given up yet. And here's the thing. If you hook up a hard drive and you hear it making all this noise but not doing anything, not recognizing, it can be doing any of these things. Right now it's just trying over and over and over again to find a starting point and make some sense of what's on the platter, but it can't do that because there's all kinds of crud in the way. And we can help with these kinds of problems. Again, these were induced issues. This was just a failed hard drive that we decided to tear down and mess up for demonstration purposes. Do not try any of these things yourself. down for a moment. And now what I've done is actually introduced a much longer scratch into it. Let's see if we can force a head crash. That buzzing sound is the head just grazing over that scratch I put in it. Unless something, tr unless something even more catastrophic happens, where we actually wind up with a full head crash, where it just makes contact with the platter and can't get unstuck, 
which is literally a stuck head, which is another kind of failure that we can recover data from in most cases. Yeah, unless something like that happens, where it physically cannot move, it becomes attached to the platter, it'll just keep trying like this. It won't get anywhere. After that fingerprint residue, the head stack assembly is basically ruined. The topmost head has been contaminated. There's no telling how much dust is on this thing getting in the way as well, but the big issue at this point between the contaminated head and the scratches on the platter, this thing's not reading anything. It's just trying and trying and trying. It's like if you clean your glasses off, you don't get all the smudges off. You know something's there, but you can't make any sense of it. Well, that pretty well just simulated was the effects of a hard drive running while it gets dropped. Hit something, head crashes, maybe the spindle gets stuck, you wind up with fun noises like this where it's not spinning, head's trying to do stuff but all it's doing is squeaking across the platter. In this case, power it back on. Spindle wasn't stuck. We didn't do that kind of damage, but... You can see it's having a very, very bad time. But I think you get the idea. Pretty horrible. You never want to hear any of those sounds, and now you know what it looks like when those are going on. Thanks for watching.